Hey, 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 listen, um, I was watching some videos today and it just made me think about um, how grateful I am to God for him not allowing me to be deceived, right? And like I always say, when I learn something, I want to share what I learned with others. And so um, I was watching um, EX Ministries video titled um, End Time Church. And that video was so good. All of his videos, I learn, always learn something or something is always confirmed. It's just amazing. And he was just talking about how he was just so grateful to God for his ministry and those, uh, his congregants, because they stood firm in not falling for the mass deception um, in regards to the past couple of years. And um, I, I thank God for the ministry, too, because... Um, things that I had conversations with other sisters when things were happening and going on. Sunday's messages were so refreshing and confirming. It was just, we would, I'd be hollering at two o'clock in the morning. The messages are uploaded like one o'clock, two o'clock on a Saturday here in Eastern Standard Time. And man, so delivering, so powerful, confirming. And so, um, anyway, I was just, so grateful to God because he did not allow me to be deceived and uh, it's just so nice to be connected to a, a body of believers and even locally like not a whole church but I have like I said some sister friends sisters that have become like not even just friends they're more like family and we always have conversation about what's going on in the world and um, how people are so deceived and it's just it breaks our heart it breaks my heart and and it's so unfortunate that people are are um are so deceived. And so what I really wanted to share is um we know those end time churches of this day because those are the ones that didn't fall for the okie doke. They didn't fall for the deception, the mass deception. And um some of those ministries are like I mentioned EX Ministries, which is that's the online ministry. Um, and what it 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 is so refreshing to see, even though there's hundreds of thousands of followers, hundreds of thousands, yeah, of followers that he has. Um, he has hundreds of members that have um, moved to Texas from different states like the majority of his congregants are from other cities and the ministry has um it's just it's refreshing to see a ministry full of uh families and the majority it, it's more men like you see a lot of ministries have a whole lot of women this one does not have a whole lot of women it has uh families a lot of um strong men and um marriages and it's just so refreshing and then um pastor david williams of jesus ministries he didn't fall for the okie doke and his messages i really enjoy his messages and i learn so much i get convicted i'm just so grateful pastor charles lawson he's in uh i want to say nashville but i know he's in tennessee um yeah charles lawson like he's no nonsense straight bible so be careful because a lot of people will say god told me the spirit of the lord said oh i'm hearing from god and i know this and i know that but you fell for the okie doke you fell for the mass deception when you all you have to do is read there was a an assimilation there was assimilation before that it was called it is called event 201 it's on youtube several segments they are not hiding it this whole thing that happened was uh the agenda is um to depopulate and you don't have to be a prophetic person all you have to do is be a person that reads like they're the basic fundamentals of of the bible and and our walk if we are disciples of christ people that love god are to have faith not be deceived by Satan's devices 
to know that Satan is the prince and power of the airwaves. I mean, it's like basic stuff. We should not be deceived. If we follow that basic stuff, the basic principles, we won't be deceived by the news or with all these people all over the world that fell for it. First of all, we're supposed to be separate from the world. So why are we following what the world is doing, right? I didn't, but... So, end time churches, those that really hear God, they didn't fall for it. That was a test that many failed. Failed. And are still failing because they're defending it. Think about it, though. If Jesus was walking the earth, and this man, you know, he heals people. We know about Jesus, right? Most times in the Bible, you see a lot of um, go your way. Your faith has made you whole. You are healed. Your faith has made you whole. All we have to, we, the whole thing about walking with Jesus and loving God is we worship a God that we can't see. So that requires faith. How is it that all these things happen? We know what's, you know, we've been reading the Bible, going to church. But yet when all this stuff happens, we just throw everything we've learned all these years out the door. Like, what are we going to church for? Why are we worshiping God? <clears throat> so unfortunately, people that are saying they hear God, but yet they're just really prophesying what's in their heart, as Jeremiah 23 says, those people are going to have to answer. So it doesn't matter how many numbers they have online. If they are still following the ways of the world and being deceived, and they're believing people just because, you know, you just, I know people that are doctors, nurses. I know people that will defend everything that was going on. They don't even want to hear about the proof that's out there. Like innovating to zero. That That's a video, a TED Talk, that's clearly talking about depopulation. Clearly saying what they want to do. There's so much information out here. We are in the age of information. There is no reason for us to be walking around deceived. That's why I said in the last video, sometimes people are willingly being deceived because they don't even want to do their own research. You can't trust every single thing that comes out of somebody's mouth just because they're standing in a certain place. If you read your Bible, some of those people shouldn't even be standing there. So you're already deceived because you love this person more than you love God and his word and what it's saying. And they're going totally against what the word says. Love, love not your life unto death. We can't love our own life so much that we die a continuous death. Let alone love somebody that's misleading us, that should have wisdom that should be leading us. That's how we read your Bible. If Jesus were walking the earth and he's, he heals people and he has on a mask, would you have faith that he can heal you? <laughs> as serious as that is, that just is so dumb. It's so dumb. And people that will defend that and won't recant that and won't um, publicly say I was wrong or whatever and they're still defending that you might want to reconsider and don't turn don't turn into a pillar of salt <laughs> I mean for real don't be deceived but yeah check out those videos like you know Pastor G. Craig Lewis, the, the, I've been replaying End Time Church and 2020 Hindsight. Awesome messages. And so many of Pastor David Williams of Jesus Ministries. I've been watching a lot of Charles Lawson, Pastor Charles Lawson's videos. At the end of the day, the End Time Church is what we need. Not a whole lot of anything else. We have to know how to prepare for Jesus returning, not continue to harbor hate in our hearts for 
whatever ridiculous reason we're not even supposed to be harboring hate anyway so there is no reason that's no justification for that so let's do better the bible even says like you know if you see stuff or whatever uh, i can't remember what the bible verse is specifically the scripture but it says save yourself and every time i see that scripture it always makes me think of you know like in cartoons i'd be like save yourself <laughs> save yourself or a movie or something it's been in so many different things you've seen it listen i'm gonna say it to you you see that the, it doesn't if they fell for it leave save yourself and your family because at the end of the day if you're deceived what if somebody's deceiving you so much you're gonna be damned to hell that's eternal torment love not your life unto death or anybody else's for that matter so save yourself be blessed